Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're gonna take a look on the ISDT Q6 Plus Smart Charger. I've already reviewed the ISDT 6 OLED. I don't have it here unfortunately to, in order to compare it, but we're gonna take a look on this charger. So this is everything we get inside. We get in the charger and we also get also these XT60 connectors. We get in two of them and they also come with covers. We're getting two male connectors. I'm not really sure why they chose to include it, but so be it. And let's take a look at the charger. So this is the output and the balance port. This is the button to navigate through the m menus and it's clickable so you can confirm it in order to go switch and change the settings. Over here we have the update port which we didn't, we didn't get any cable in order to use it, so it has to be, it can be purchased separately. And here is the input port. The input voltage is between 7 volt to 30 volts. And you can charge between 1 cell to 6 cells batteries. You're also getting a small user manual that tells you everything about it. The weight is 119 grams, so it's pretty compact. It supports LIFE, Lylon, LiPo and LIHV batteries. The charge current is between 0.1 to 14 amperes and the discharge current is between 0.1 to 3 amperes. And the max charge bar power is 300 watts. So I'm going to connect it to a battery and show you all the menus. So in order to power it up, you can either use a LiPo battery, so you can use a bigger LiPo battery in order to charge smaller ones when you're on the go, or you can modify your power supply in order to connect to it. So make sure it, it is the, voltage, the voltage is between 7 to 30 volts. So let's power it up. Okay, so I must tell you that the, it loads faster, much faster than the ISDT 608. So let's show you the menus. This is not a touch screen. This is a 320 by 240, 2.4 inch screen, so it's very readable. Over here, you will see the current state of the cells of the battery that you are charging. Here we have the timer. This is the current ampere rate the milliampere hour that has been charged and let's see the menus okay so first here you can select the task charge discharge or storage battery type LHV lipo nylon life PB and NIMH or CD cell voltage this is the you want this is the end voltage of your battery so leave it on 420.2 for lipo batteries cell count between one to six cells current sending this is the amount of, of amperes you would like to charge your battery rate stick to 1c which means if your battery is 1500 um, milliampere hour so you will charge it on 1.5 ampere and you can start the task. If you long press this button, you can see max input power, you can change it. Minimum input voltage between 7 to 24. Backlight, high, middle, low, or automatic. We can see we have here a light sensor, so that's good. Volume between off, low, middle, or high. And the completion tone can be either single or it's going to repeat until you're gonna come and stop the charger. And the language can be set between English, Cantonese, Mandarin, Japanese, I think, Dutch, French, and Espanol. We're gonna stick to English. 
Freedom of sharing. Okay, but you can hear it's pretty loud. So this is the sound you're going to hear when the charge process will be done. System information. System self checking. Let's see. You can hear the fan gets very loud. When you discharge a battery, the fan is going to be used in order to cool it down. So let's plug a battery in order to charge it. So all you have to do, just connect the XT60 connector here. Immediately, you're going to see the battery voltage. And once you plug also the balance port, you can see the state of the cells. Now, one more thing, the charger knows the cell count, which means right now we're gonna put it on six cells. I'm gonna take this one out and plug it in. If we go back and we want to start the task, you see now it's on three cells. So it's not, it's not gonna let you charge it on high, so it will automatically set the cell count. Make sure when you're charging with an, another battery, not to deplete the battery because you're going to ruin it, so stay safe. So try not to go below 3.7 or 3.6 volts. In order to make sure it's not going to happen, you can charge, you can set a minimum input voltage of, for example, if it's three cells battery, so keep it around 11.1, .1, and then it's gonna make sure, let's say 11 volt, it's gonna make sure you're not going to ruin the battery. So if it's four cells, put it around 15 volts, just to be safe. So in order to charge it, this is 1800 milliampere hour battery, so we can put it on. 1.8 and just click start task and there you go. So over here we see the current rate of the battery being charged with and here is the milliampere hour that have been charged. This is not that accurate but the most important the voltage count is accurate and it will enable you to charge it on the go or at your own house. I don't recommend to get this charger as a main charger I prefer to stick to my big, reliable Turnergy reactor charger, but this is good as a spare one and to charge batteries on the go. When the battery is charging, over here you can see the resistance of the battery cells. And if you switch it down, you can see the input voltage. Oh, because I covered it, it automatically changed the brightness. So over here we can see the input voltage. And the Output, the voltage of the battery that we charge is 11.5 volts and the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.